What's going on guys? My name is Roscoe and I, today I wanted to bring you a video on t my top 5 jackets that I will be rocking for the spring. Now, these jackets are, you know, I'm going to be adding more to my, cl to my closet for jacket wise, um, but I just wanted to give you the, the 5 styles that I'm going to be rocking that I think you should be rocking too. You know, when spring comes around and the weather is you know, definitely going to be a lot nicer. You know, it's going to be nice, cool, rainy nights. And these types of jackets, I think, you know, <clears throat> are definitely going to be in style. They always are in style. They never go out of style that I think you guys definitely need. Let's get into it. So number five is I'm going to go with a denim jacket. A denim jacket never goes out of style and it's it's essential piece to every man's closet and even to you young guys out there a denim jacket is just swag and you don't need to spend that much money on it I think there's some pieces that are worth spending money on um, and we'll get into that later but a denim jacket you don't need to shell out a lot of money the quality this is just a basic Levi's jacket Nothing special. I got this for like 60 bucks at Macy's. And the quality is just as good as, you know, it's just, it's Levi's. It's a brand that's been around for centuries. They make excellent quality jeans, and you expect you can expect that for their denim jackets. Now, I like to just go with a regular, you know, blue colored denim jacket. I mean, they have black, they have uh, whitewash uh, jackets, um, but... A central blue jacket is easy enough. It goes with anything. You know, I like to rock it sometimes. You know, shout out Canadian style. Um, blue on blue. It works. It's fine, you know. I think it, you know, it matches. It's, it's, I think it's dope. It's dope as hell. You can rock it too with, you know, rock it with some distressed, distressed jeans. I think that would look, because you don't have this jacket. It's not distressed, so rock it with some distressed jeans. Show it up. And another way I like to rock it is with track pants. Add some color down below with, you know, I definitely like to rock it with some Yeezy Calabasas track pants. Look at this. I think this is a dope fit. You can rock it with, you know, some cargos. These are just Pack Sun track pants, army style, you know. Dope. Dope fit. Matches. Perfect. The way I don't, though, I don't like to match it with with offset colored denim, meaning like dark navy jeans, I no no, no good. Black jeans, eh, it works, sort of, you can pull it off, but I can't pull it off. I just like to rock it, like I said, with, you know, same color jeans or track pants. And the track pants, you can go any way, you can go any style with it, any color, it works well. So, number five. Levi's denim jacket. Number four is a bomber jacket. A bomber jacket that's this nylon, uh, this nylon piece is perfect for the spring. You know, this obviously is, you know, you can wear this in the rain, wear this, you know, it's gonna keep you dry, but a bomber jacket never goes out of style. This one right here is from Timbaland. I actually got this at the Timbaland Outlets. Uh, what I love about this one, it's a simple black bomber jacket. And what, it's very minimal. There's no, you know, take a look. There's no big logos. It's very simple. I got some dog hair on it, but it is what it is. But it's very simple. I think there's only like a little black symbol on the side. It says Timbaland. It's simple. It goes with everything. You rock it with jeans. You could rock it with black jeans. I like to go black on black. Um, I don't know. This won't work with track pants, but you know, just keep it simple. Keep it simple. That's the best way to do it. You know, black jeans, dark jeans, light jeans. Um, but what I love about this one in particular, and a lot of bomber jackets in general, is that it's reversible. And what's reversible is that it turns into this nice camo fit. Now, granted, camo 
It's not the best color for spring. You want those light colors. It's the springtime. But, you know, what I like about this piece, it's not, it's like a faded camo. It's not like a dark, saturated camo. Um, but it's pretty dope. Like I said, and for this piece, I paid $50 for it. You know, fifty dollars, which is I think it's a steal. It's an absolute steal for this. You know, Timberland makes very good quality boots. We all know that, but they have good pieces too. That they, as far as coats, you know, jackets, they have very good pieces. Like in general, they're good. They're a great brand. So again, with obviously with camo, you can rock anything. I wouldn't rock camo and camo. You know, I'm not in the military, but and I would. But again, I would rock this with black, probably black jeans. Black, you can go distressed, undistressed, faded. You could rock anything. The only thing I wouldn't do with this is super what, like super light jeans. That's the only thing I wouldn't pull off with this. But again, you can rock a bomber. It's gonna protect you too. It's gonna be rainy, so this is a very dope fit. Right, yeah. So number four, bomber jacket is a central piece. So for my third essential you know, jacket slash coat, it doesn't fall into it, but I think it's what you need, is just simple hoodies. And it's not just any particular hoodies, it's the thin, the thin type hoodies is perfect, absolutely perfect for the spring. You know, the, again, warmer weather, it'll go with anything, you know, throw a hoodie on, pff, throw it on with anything, matches. So I'm not really going to go particularly in the fits, but hoodies can't go wrong especially the thin ones I love the thin ones because the thin ones can go with, like these ones you can layer it you can layer it with anything again put throw a denim jacket over this fire throw a bomber over this it works um, for this one color I wouldn't walk in the spring but I throw you know a tri uh, an overcoat over this I think I have one idea overcoat this wool overcoat. I wore that in the winter. Dope fit. Thin. You can wear these thin. These things look great. And what's great about these is that they're cheap. You know, these ones right here, these are just H&M. They're from H&M. And I remember I paid $12.99 for these. You can't go wrong with them. You know, then the, obviously we all know about H&M's quality. It's not the best. But you paid 12 bucks for it. You know? So you can't go wrong with it. And I think they have a huge variety of um, of colors to choose from you know hoodies can't go wrong I do have some other hoodies coming in soon that I'm gonna be posting up uh, but they're, I think they're a little thicker uh, actually it's from some, some from the supreme drop so I'm gonna have that video up soon uh, but I wanted to get you know show you guys just some thin thin hoodies that go with anything that I think that are essential to your closet that you must have. So, again, H&M hoodies, very cheap, can't go wrong with them. It's perfect for the spring. So number two is a, is what everybody's gonna be rocking, and it's you know it's probably the most worn type of coat, type of jacket to the spring, and it's a simple windbreaker. And I have one here that I love. It's from Nike. This is actually a sick one. It's sick colors for the spring. It's like this grayish, lightish, silverish, purple. It just screams spring, you know. I'm gonna show you to you right here. It's simple. It's thin. It's light. It's got this. Um, I like how it's got the <clears throat> the cuffing at the bottom, so you know it keeps you will keep you warm. Zip up inside. It's still got a tag on. I haven't rocked it yet, but I got this one at Dick Sporting Goods, and it was on sale. I got this over the. Again, you gotta get what's good, what's key about this stuff is that you gotta buy it in the off season. When you buy it in the off season, you'll save money. Trust me. So, simple windbreaker. You can get windbreakers anywhere. Um, if you want, you can go hype, unhyped. This is just a simple Nike one, but I mean, Supreme has a ton of them. Palace has a ton of them. Um, you go to H and M, you, there's a ton of them. You gotta have a windbreaker. You gotta have one. And again, what's this one? What's the style on this one? I'm curious. It doesn't say. What's the actual name of it? it? Just says it's made in shout out China. Yeah. It doesn't tell you the style code on it, so I can give you the links. If I if I can find it, I'll post the links in the bottom of the video. 
but it's a windbreaker. It's easy enough. It's Nike. You can't go wrong with Nike. Again, it's going to match with anything. You can match it with any type of jeans. You can even match it with, you can go swishy on swishy if you want. You know, nylon pants. It works out. It just works. You can rock any type of shoes with these black. You know, black shoes, light shoes, white shoes. It don't matter. But it's definitely an essential piece. You probably should have more than uh, one in your closet like this. I'm just going to show you one because this is my one of my recent pickups that I got. Um, but it's essential in your closet. It's a must-have. Number one, I'm going to go different. I'm going to go different. I'm going to go a different route. And I think, you know, for me personally, it's a jacket that I love. It's a jacket that's perfect for the spring, but it's not just for the spring days. It's for those spring nights when you go out, if you want to take your girl out for dinner, if you want to go hang out with the fellas, go to the bar, or if you want to go to a party. If you want to look, if you want to make a statement, you get this piece. And number one, it's a leather biker jacket. This one right here is from Top Man. Um, I got this at uh, Nordstrom's. I got this at Nordstrom's at the mall. I saw this on the uh, mannequin. It was like big, huge. It had the light flashing on it. It was a big. Uh, they had a big stand uh, for it, and I saw it. And I saw it on the mannequin. I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta try it on at least. And this jacket, I think, is absolutely sick. It's a statement piece. It's when you want to walk into a room and, you know, people look at you, you get a biker jacket. I don't own a bike. I don't own drive. I don't, never even... Actually, I'd actually t take that back. I rode a motorcycle a couple times when I tried to get my license. But I never ended up getting my license. I only had my permit. But this piece right here is sick. It's... What I love about it, too, is that the quality... It's not, it's not top tier, but it's good. It, you can tell that the more I wear it, the more you break it in, the better and the softer it's going to get. Uh, but I love just the simple fit of it, how it's going to look. Again, you can throw this where I like to throw underneath it. You throw like a, you can throw light colors underneath it, like a yellow flannel, um, an orange flannel, a red flannel, um, or just a dress shirt. Uh, you can do, you can rock anything with this. I like to go all black, you know, look like a badass, you know, go black jeans, black boots, the biker jacket. It's a statement piece. Own it. You can rock a baseball cap on top. I usually sometimes I'll rock the black cement threes with these, with this jacket. Fire. You can rock basketball sneakers with this. Um, just make sure it matches, you know, like at least the Jordan threes has the gray, it has the black. It, it'll look good with this. And I could rock it with a backwards baseball cap, too. Um, but, so, this piece right here is from Top Man, like I said. I paid $200 for it. Now, it's not a lot of money um, for a leather jacket. But, for the quality, you get what you pay for. Now, a leather jacket is a piece that I do recommend spending a lot of money on. Leather jackets will last you a long, long time. Now, two hundred dollars to me, you know, for a leather jacket. Like I said, it's not top tier. It's probably like lower tier for leather jackets. You know, but you know, with Saint Laurent, those go for like twenty five hundred to three grand. But those types of jackets are also good for an investment wise because these leather jackets last. They last. You know, ten they can last ten years easily, unless you know you put on weight or you you know <laughs> they don't, it doesn't fit anymore. Then I can't they can't help you there. But um, a good quality jacket lasts. A leather jacket lasts a very long time. But and I do recommend it. You know, spending that. But at first, for me, I wanted to get something very minimal, a uh, very lower tier price, so just so I can rock it. And I'll rock the head, rock the crap out of it. And if I do later down the line want to invest in a nice one, I'll cop one, and I'll definitely post it on this video. It's definitely going to be a Saint Laurent because Saint Laurent has one of the best leather jackets you can get on the market. You know, if you want to look at look at G Easy, G Easy rocks leather jackets heavy, and it's all Saint Laurent. So go take a look at their website if you really want to look at top tier. 
quality is unbelievable with those jackets, but there's nothing wrong with this one. This one's dope. This one's good. Like I said, I'll rock it at night, you know, at a campfire maybe, with my, you know, take a girl out. We'll see. See what's happening. See what goes. It's good. So these are my five jackets, five type of jackets that I'll be rocking during the spring. Definitely going to be adding more to my collection for my closet, but I just want to get a video out here for you guys so you can kind of build off of it and see, you know, <clears throat> where you where you can add and where you're missing in your closet. Um, you know, like I said, you don't have to get, don't get these, ex I can't get these exact pieces, but, you know, this is just some recommendations of what I wear, what I rock. All these fits, I put all my fits together on my Instagram. It's Roscoe. R O S Z K O underscore seventy two. Um, so if you want to see better pics, I love Instagrams. So I love posting pictures on there. I don't do modeling videos. It's kind of goofy. Um, but you know, in the future, if I have to, I will. But I just wanted to get these get these pieces in front of you guys so you can see. And again, go check out my video. Uh, check out my Instagram. Scratch that. And let me know what you think. And let me know if, if any of these, you know, if you guys like any of these pieces in the comments. If you like the video, smash that like button. Um, I have another video coming. It's going to be a hype video um, from Week 1 Supreme. I picked up a few pieces that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to be bringing more videos out here. So if you like, please like that button. Hit that button. Subscribe. And uh, that's it. Peace.